the eco-animal protesters who crashed the Grand National last week and got into trouble with the police are now going on TV and complaining that the police arrested them. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, let's take a quick break from all the doom and gloom and political updates that we have for you guys on this channel. I'm trying not to just give you the negative news. I try to give you some positive news as well as some ridiculous and hilarious stories, including this one. <laughs> okay, so last week we had the uh, the Grand National and then you got the, the pro net zero protesters who want to protect the trees as well as the animals, but not the humans. Uh, they crashed it and uh, they got arrested and the police was for once very robust uh, on them and they've now made videos there uh, and uh, they've been crying and they've been shouting they've been having meltdowns and they're, they're telling their side of the story their truth and i'm going to show you their truth <laughs> in one of these videos and then we're going to react to it and we're going to show you the reaction from the general public the sensible patriotic british public there seemed to be a general lack of care across the entire police force. He just poleaxed me, flattened me to the ground, hit me on this side, and that <laughs> fractured my collarbone. There was no warning given at all by them. <laughs> so, so, no warning given. So <laughs> you illegally entered the venue and the Grand National. You weren't given a warning that it was illegal, right? Oh, my God. Police officer, they didn't care. They didn't care what my condition was. I was grabbed from behind by a security guard who put their arm around my neck and choked me unconscious. I was screaming in pain and... <laughs> because you're resisting arrest. Telling them that my hands were glued together and to the jump, but one officer was just encouraging the others to keep on pulling. Yeah. I was sprayed by an officer in the eyes pepper spray and the police officer cuffed me so tight that I couldn't oh. feel my arms or my hands and I told him that I felt like he was breaking my wrists and he just told me to keep walking he called me a little prick told me that it was my fault and I deserved this pain I was t oh okay I love how they're all basically trust fund kids they're, they're, they're all children of the hedge fund managers they're all champagne socialists called by a peace officer and another individual and another peace officer in front of the fence struck my hands one police officer was pulling me by my hair and shouting that i was a what hair you got no hair prick and that i needed to walk i'd only just regained consciousness one of my teammates on the oh. other side was being viciously attacked by a security dog he desperately asked the security guard to remove the dog he watched the dog viciously attack my friend you liked animals. and take a chunk out of his leg <laughs> all of this was done in front of the police i didn't resist at all yet oh, yeah. they decided to slam me repeatedly on <laughs> that, that that literally looks like you're resisting <laughs> floor whilst holding my hands so I couldn't protect myself. And I looked right and I saw a protester being taken in, carried by his legs and arms, handcuffed behind his back, being yep. slammed down on the floor, picked up again, and they just kept slamming him two or three times <laughs> down, even though he's handcuffed. I wasn't read my rights incidentally. I was cuffed. Oh, he grabbed the cuffs between my wrists and yanked me up by the cuff. One of the police officers was throwing handcuffs over oh. the fence to his colleagues despite the fact that yeah. there were activists sitting directly below the other side of the fence. So yeah. I sustained a head injury and the person next to me sustained a hand injury. Simply because I was laying on the ground, one of the police officers grabbed my arm and twisted behind my back. He was pulling up so hard that I was feeling excruciating pain in my shoulder. I... Why, do we, why, why do we have Spanish protesters in the UK? <laughs> told him that he couldn't do that because I wasn't resisting arrest or anything, but he kept doing it. I was pepper sprayed oh by a God, police officer so and subsequently no, hit in the back of my head by a second police officer with a rubber baton. I tried to explain <laughs> several times that I was choking. <laughs> That's what she said. Um... <laughs> Oh no! Okay, that was funny. There's this still another minute to go. I just can't watch it. I just I can't. I'm gonna lose my mind. Anyway, that was funny, wasn't it? Let's go to the reaction from the general public, <laughs> um, to um whether the police actions were right or wrong. Uh, everybody said similar things. Uh, Richard Leader said, uh, "If I encounter any officers from Merseyside Police, uh, I would a obviously offer them to buy a, 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 buy them a pint of beer and b." politely request that they head south and give their colleagues in the Met, in London Met especially, some coaching. Yeah, that's a good, good idea. Give them some beer and also send them to London, sort it out. Sadiq Khan doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, we have another guy saying uh, a police officer was 
correct then, obviously. Yep, makes sense. Uh, we had <laughs> someone saying, Rob saying, oh, poor baby. We got Taylor saying, well done, police. And we got another comment saying, excellent. It, it is brilliant. And yeah, it's, <laughs> it is actually my favorite comment. Am I bad for laughing? <laughs> Definitely not bad because I, I just can't stop myself from laughing. And um, maybe we are. Are we the baddies? Hmm, I don't know. It is, it is quite funny. But um, it's important to point out that for the first time, the police decided to act quickly, swiftly and properly. And but these guys decided to make it like a documentary video telling their truth, like they're bloody Meghan Markle or whatever. And uh, they thought that if they make this video and go on TV, then they could actually change the public opinion. People are just seeing you for what you really are, you trust fund spoiled champagne socialist kids. This is, it makes no sense. And they're comparing themselves to the suffragette movement. Look, are you kidding me with that? All right. Um, let's take a break. We're going to come back and talk to you guys about net zero in Glasgow. Because things are kicking off as usual. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.